Hey, what's up guys? No subscribers guy. Back again for a game in World of Tanks. As I as I said before, I enjoy playing this game. And I, I like to sometimes, as well as Minecraft videos, I like to show off or showcase some of the games I've played in this. Hopefully you guys enjoy it if you play it. That's great. If you don't play it, it's a free to play, you can download it. There'll be links to the description to the websites where you can download it, depending on your region. And yeah, this is a game in my comet with uh, it was a Top Gun game actually. I got a nice Top Gun, which is six kills. So here we are in the tier seven British medium. Let's speed this down to one times. The tier seven British medium tank, the Comet. Now this tank is surprisingly good for the stats it has. It has a gun that's it's got average penetration. Okay, for this tier, it's got 148 penetration, which is all right at tier seven. But it does come with a beautiful 2,000 damage per minute DPM and a surprisingly strong frontal turret armor. A lot of tanks bounce off the front of this thing, front of this turret, and it's really good. 12 degrees of gun depression, which is really good. So this is what we're aiming to do here, me and my platoon mate. Let me just speed this up. So the scout goes up there, scouts them very wisely, but gets rushed, and we try and help him. So pop over here. Start aiming in, we kill off this low tier tank pretty quickly, and then we're looking for other targets, but there's none. We're looking around us, and I think we might to make think, okay, let's not stay here, let's not bog, get bog, let's not get bogged down in heavy fight. We're fast medium, so we'll move around, and speed this up. So move immediately up to this bit of cover. Begin to sort of attempt to work this great gun, great gun depression, great turret armor to use. But it doesn't it isn't needed till we spot this ARL. And but we don't like it. So we thought we'll go up here. There's a Chi Toe up here. He's gonna seriously threaten our flank with quite weak side armor. I see some I fire on the move, which is a pretty dumb idea, but British guns in this game are very accurate. And there you go, somebody just finished him off. And I'll follow from here. Yeah, I fired on the move to keep him suppressed. Then we start focusing on this ELC. There's the LC. We hit him once, but that's the only time. Bad gun depression to the rear, so we have to move the tank. I mean, it probably wasn't a good idea to sort of focus on this sort of scout. Donkey shot there, and I missed completely. If we turn around, alright, let's go. Let's focus on the ARLs to the right. Now, there's a great spot I found here, which excels in the Comet's gun depression. Here we come. Coming up, we're using this. Bit of land here, and let's just have a look at that. So we fired. The ARL can only get the view there. Well, we can see the whole ARL, and from the ARL's direction, we can only see our turret sort of poking out there, which is really good for us because we've got extremely nice turret armor. So we hit him once, we back off, and we just start to unload our 2000 DPM into him, and we miss, move forward. We track him, which is really good. Keep firing using that great damage per minute of the gun on his weak side armor. He bounces a shot off of our turret. As I said, my platoon mate sets him on fire and I get the kill. And then the other ARL gets finished off and we begin to advance down here. Now we decided to keep advancing instead of going on the hill because the hill just camping. And we don't particularly have the signal or view range to spot any of the enemies over here. Let's speed it up because we haven't got any contact for a while. We're on two kills at the moment, so we're doing alright. More would be nice though. So, aided here by a friendly Cromwell. Now, this tank really comes into its own when you get that better gun. The upgraded gun really makes a difference at tier 7, along with the turret as well. And we spot the artillery and we finish him off. A nice artillery kill. Is always good. We start to advance upon the left with this um, Cromwell to take out the Churi. Unfortunately, we make a bit of a stupid move. We focus here. So we're coming up, and I'm solely tunnel visioning on this Churi. So, yep, yeah, we got one shot into the Churi. He bounces off of us. He doesn't bounce off our side. He doesn't bounce off our side. He moves out of our way. We're tracked. Oh crap, there's an ARL. And I just begin to unload into this ARL. The ARL can't go anywhere from this this deadly, deadly gun. And there we are. 
bit of a stupid move to jump out like that, tunnel visioning on this cheery. But we get him in the end, and he tracks us again. And here comes my platoon mate, supporting me on this one. Five kills, let's hope we can get another one. I'm hoping to get one on that Churchill. <laughs> Which, in retrospect, is a bit of a sneaky move to um, just try and get the top gun. Now, we don't come into contact till we start pushing up to this last known position of the Tiger down here at sort of K4. And here we go, we're starting to come into the view range of some tanks. Now, there's an IS, an IS-2. I'm thinking, hmm, I'm going to go for this. Now, for some reason, we are capturing the base, and me and my platoon mate are yelling at them to not cap, and one guy jumps out. And just before the end, they stop capping. So we can keep unloading into this side of this IS-2. Now, I did not notice the other IS that was sitting there. So pull back, he fires, misses me, but the other guy, the guy was originally firing, it makes a connection. So start to fire on this guy. Now the IS has quite strong frontal armor. The other guy looks away. So we continue to try and hit this IS, but we miss. And then the perfect shot for the top gun. And we critical hit him. We critical hit him. Right in the thing. There's one guy still in the cap. This has to be the money shot. Misses again. And 10 seconds left on his ass. He misses, I don't. Six kills, top gun. I'm happy with that result. And they cap out. Six kills with a good top gun. With 2,100 damage done. And we've captured out. That was a great game. Absolutely great game. Over 2,000 damage done. So there were six kills and a top gun medal. Which was really, really, really nice, to be honest. And that's the game, that's all I really wanted to show you. It was a great game in the comet, showing off the great gun depression. The, mainly the brilliant turret armor, we bounced quite a lot of shots there, or two or three shots. The good low profile you can use to um, thing uh, to hide behind ridge lines. The comet works really well when hiding behind a ridge line, popping up and using that turret armor with that gun, which people underestimate your 2,000 damage per minute gun, which is truly, truly a great gun. And that was it. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And I've been the subscribes guy. And thank you for watching.